guys and welcome to my first video of my brand new Disney vlog series. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm even filming this. It's come around so quick. Oh my god, it's a bit zoomed in, isn't it? Let's see if I can zoom out. No. Um, yeah, excuse, like I've got my studio lights on in my room right now because it's pitch black. Like, what even is the date today? It's like the 29th of August and I can't believe how dark and cold it's been today. Um... And yeah, it's been such a long day. I've just had a Chinese, I'm kind of winding down and I thought, right, I'm going tomorrow. I need to sit down and pack now. So I'm gonna show, I've never done one of these and like I always come across little bits that I just pack for like specifically for Disney trips. So I thought I'm gonna do a little pack with me and show you guys what uh, I pack. So yeah. So this is the situation right now. I've chucked everything that I think I'm gonna need into there. I've also got my mini cabin case. Um, I've got my lounge fly and random bits uh, over there. Excuse all the mess in the background. So I'm gonna sit down and sort it out and go through what I pack. Why is this zooming in? Okay, hopefully this all looks all right. It feels so weird. I never ever film at night time. So usually I've got all my uh, daylight coming into my spare room, but yeah, it's pitch black. So I feel like it's like glowing around me. Um, Oh my god, this has been such a quick week. Like, why does the build up to holiday always go so slow? And then suddenly, in like the last two days before you're going, like literally everything needs doing, like just random bits crop up where you need to go to the dump and just random stuff like that. So yeah, I've had loads to do in the last two days, hence why I'm only packing the night before. Usually my case is packed waiting ready about a week before, but no, this time I'm feeling very unorganized. So yeah, this video is hopefully going to get me organised as well. I always do like, um, like I on my notes I have a massive packing list where it's got like, I've included everything for like holidays, festivals, all sorts. And then I just take like the festival chunk out and you like copy and paste that over and then I tick it. Does anyone else do this? Like I don't know if that's just me being crazy, but yeah, I find that super helpful. So if anyone actually wants my packing list i'll make i'll have to make a little word document and share it um but yeah so i always feel like disney packing is a little bit more structured than like other theme park packing when i go to like universal and stuff i tend to just wear shorts and a top like a little crop top or something and trainers but for disney i like to wear nice girly dresses um, so I've only actually got like one pair of shorts and a top planned. I'm going to take another little spare, I think, because sometimes dresses, you can just get like a bit uncomfy. But yeah, I've got mainly girly dresses. I've got my bag of little ears. Um, and yes, got some nice little outfits. So yeah, I'm going to go through and show you my outfits first. In the bottom of my bag, I've got all of my underwear and socks and stuff like that. Um, this year I'm staying at Art of Animation Resort in a Little Mermaid room. I, I've never ever stayed there before. So I got this, I actually have had this towel for years, but I never really use it. I've got a Little Mermaid towel. I thought that was quite fitting for this trip. I'm going for a Little Mermaid theme. Um, usually, like I've got this towel and I've also got a Minnie Mouse one, which is pink and white. And usually I take that pink and white one because I feel like it matches my bikinis a bit more. But yeah, I could not take this because it's all about Little Mermaid this year. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to roll this up and pop this in next to my underwear. Just got these little shorts from Primark. I've had them ages and then I just wear it with like a little vest top like this. And then just a little like crossover bag and some trainers. I cannot stress enough how important your shoes are as well so i'll show you what shoes i've got um for like disney this year i've got little dresses like this i don't know what they're called they're like tea dresses I'm like what are they called you, you'll see like what i mean but they're like dresses like this just cute little dainty dresses i would absolutely love to wear them with nice sandals and stuff but it's just not going to happen because your feet absolutely kill when you walk around Disney all day. So it's going to be literally Air Force. They're a bit dirty. I should have put them in the wash. So I have to give them a wipe over. But yeah, Air Force or Converse. 
I feel like yeah, Converse are a little bit risky. So just with normal Converse, I wouldn't dream of wearing them. But these are like, are these the hike ones, I think they're called? Or Runstar or something like that. Um, these are comfier. I think they just feel a bit wider around here. So it's not like cramming your toes together. So I just find these ones are more comfier. Like, I think I walked 20,000 steps in these last time I went. Um, and yeah, if I've been to an event or like a festival in the old style Converse, oh, my feet would be in absolute agony. So these are definitely comfier, I would say, than the original. These are the sorts of dresses I'm going for. Very flowy this year. I don't like to be uncomfortable so I have nice flowy dresses and then I always put on like cycle shorts underneath. I actually just got some of these from Pretty Little Thing like the, um, what are they called? You know like the shapewear shorts that hold you in. Ideally I would have wanted some thinner ones because it's so bloody hot in Florida. Like I, I went into Primark and I wanted like, they're like literally like tight but they didn't have them this year so I was thinking oh my god it's either going to be cycle shorts underneath or I can just go with like shapewear so I've gone with these because I feel like they'll stick to you better than like cycle shorts like that could look a bit funny I'm just hoping that these aren't going to be very hot and sweaty but yeah I got those from Pretty Little Thing I got two pairs of them so they're going to go in as well I also got like by the way I'm well impressed with myself this year I've hardly bought any new outfits. I've used all stuff like from previous summers. I'm really trying to not like keep buying loads of clothes. So I think I've only actually got one or two new outfits. Like I've got little bits like this from years ago. Just like a little button up play suit. Am I far, far enough back? Like a little button up play suit. That'll be nice because you won't get no like chub rub down there. And then just have a little crossbody bag or my little lounge fly. I don't know how like, hopefully you get the gist of what I'm wearing. I'm not like showing, like doing a try on, but yeah, just nice flowy dresses, some cycle shorts underneath so we don't get any chafing because you're walking literally constantly. Um, and yeah, that's the kind of vibe I'm going for this year. So that's that. I think I've got my dresses sorted, so I'm gonna put them into the suitcase. I've also got my, I got this raincoat in May from Universal. I don't know how much it was. I think it was about $12. I'm gonna wear that. I'm only doing Disney this year. Like it actually, I hate it when like, <laughs> I'm so sorry if you do this, but when people go to Universal and they have like their Mickey ears on, I don't know why, it just feels like wear it like, you know when people wear like Adidas and Nike together as well, it just, it just don't sit right in my brain and I feel like I'm now one of them people because I'm going to be wearing a universal um, poncho around Disney but I'm not buying another one because this is literally brand new. So yeah, I'm going to put my little poncho in there if I can squeeze that in, I might have to roll it up a bit tighter. While we're on the topic of shoes, by the way, um, I am taking three other pairs of shoes. So I've got my little Crocs platform sliders. These are so uncomfortable. Like I cannot even tell you. Don't think about buying these and even wearing around the parks. They will cut your feet. Oh my God, they, the first time I wore these, I think I was in Ibiza and yeah, it, they felt horrid. I've really had to wear these in. Like I've worn these around the house and in the garden loads. Um, they're definitely a lot comfier now. So I'd be happy to wear these to like a water park. So for example, we've got a couple of days where we're doing like the water park and then going to Disney Springs. And I think that would be my lot. I wouldn't be walking around like Magic Kingdom in these. But these are so cute. I haven't... Oh, that's just reminded me. I need to put some little Disney charms on them. I've not done that yet. Um... So yeah, I'll get a few little Disney charms on here and then they'll be all right just to wear to the water parks. I've also got these, so please don't judge me. These are so dirty and skanky. Like these have been through the wash loads. Um, they don't look too bad. Well, they do look bad, but they don't look as bad as they look in person. Um, I find these well comfy. Like I could walk around the park all day in these. I could do all my steps in these. Um... I don't feel like the sole of these is good for your back though, like from what I've read before. So 
I'm going to try and wear trainers, but sometimes your feet just don't want to be in trainers. You just want like to be free and get some air. Um, so I always pack a pair of these. Just trusty Nike sliders. They're so comfy as well. Um, so yeah, if my trainers give me blisters or whatever, then I'll swap to these. And then finally, I don't know if to even bother packing these. These are my Doc Martens sliders. And I don't know if I dare even pack these. These are the most painful sandals I've ever worn in my whole life. Worse than the Crocs ones. Um, I got these at the start of August. It's now, what did I say earlier? It's like the end of August. I've been desperately trying to wear these in because these would look so nice with all my dresses that I've packed. And I actually see people wearing these at Disney as well. Um... I feel like people say with these sandals, they are so uncomfy until you wear them in and then they're the comfiest shoe ever. Like I've got to the point where I can go out shopping with them on and they're fine, but to walk around Disney, I don't know. And I don't know if I even want to take that risk because if you're in the middle of Magic Kingdom and these start slicing into your ankles, I don't know. I think I'm going to take them and like try wearing around the outlets or something, see how I get on, but... I haven't got much hope for these. I'm going to put them in anyway if my um, weight allows me to. The next thing I've put in is just bikinis and stuff. I don't need to show you them. Um, I've put in five, I think, just because, yeah, I could probably get away with less, but I like to just switch things up a bit. And I've put in two hats. I never, ever, ever wear hats. I don't even know why I bought these, but we've got like this sun hat here. Which I'm thinking maybe I can wear around like that's <laughs> literally look horrific on me. I don't know why I bought them but because I bought them I want to get that wear out of them. So I'm going to force this on my head out of water park. And I also got this one and I got this one about three years ago. I've never ever worn it and I'm like just wear it. Just wear it once and then you can stick it on Vinted or give it to your sister or something. But please just wear it once. So... I need to wear it and you're gonna see me in one vlog with this on at least so yes I'm gonna wear it this year another thing I absolutely love is my underwater cam like phone holder this one is by Vansky I think it is it's rubbed off it's so old I've had this maybe seven eight years Oh, it's never failed me touch wood so far i think iphone's waterproof now actually so i don't need to panic but this has worked a treat um you do need to really clean the insides though because i put my phone in it before and i was like what the hell like why can i not see it's because the inside was so grubby and dirty and i cleaned it it was much better so yeah i'm gonna give this a clean it's looking a bit filthy but um yeah i love these and this also helps like when we went to Aquatica last, I noticed the um, lockers are like 40, lock 40, 40 lockers, $40 for the day for one locker. That's so steep. I couldn't believe it. And I just thought to myself, like, I could literally just bring a towel, my phone and a bank card and put it in there. Like, what do I even need a locker for? Like, I've just spent $40. Um... So yeah, I just find these really handy because you could literally, especially, do you know what, with um, Volcano Bay. So their lockers aren't as, as expensive. I think they're $16 for the day, which is absolutely fine. But when we were staying at Cabana Bay, we could literally nip back and forward because it's only a couple of minutes walk. Um, and I literally just took a bit of money in case I needed it, my card and that in there. And I just... Pop up to my towel, don't even bother with a locker, and then just went off. Um, so yeah, it's not just like waterproof phone case, it also holds bits like that. So you haven't got a fork out for a locker. Okay, now we're moving on to my brand new little lounge fly. How stunning is this? Oh my god, I love it. I can't wait to use this as well. I've just got my selfie stick in here. I know you're not allowed to use selfie sticks in Disney, but I use this on the plane, so I literally just open it out put it on the table and then pop my phone in there and watch films on it and stuff. Um, so yeah, I find that really handy. And also it's good for like, cause obviously, like, well not obviously, if you're new to my channel, like my job is a beauty creator. So I make a lot of makeup videos. 
and I just find this really good like on the go I can continue to make some videos while I'm there with this um the little light comes on as well I also do have like a bit of a bigger light that I take um but yeah since I've been doing this job I actually find it easier to do my makeup in the camera rather than in a mirror so I just pop my phone on there and then do my makeup that way so yeah that's in there I've also got my airpods my purse my a liner tray my hairbrush that's filthy and then my little passport holder um so that's all i've got in there at the moment and then next up to pack we've got my little bag of ears these are I've got, i can't decide which one to take so i've packed quite a few um i also got these from the disney outlet by the way it says they come from the shanghai resort which is cute but i was thinking i'm going to do two little space buns and then pop my little ribbons in front i think that'd be well cute with like a plain pink dress and my little lounge fly bag um i've also these are the disney ears i've got so i've got some nice holographic ones i've got the classic mini ones these are my favorite you can't beat a classic can you um i've also got these ones which have got little cupcake detailing i did get these off of vintage so i don't know where they're from originally um but they're nice then i've got these ones which i've also have for ages i got these off depop like years and years ago i've got some fluffy ones which i got off etsy i don't know if to take these or not i feel like they're very christmassy oh how cute can't wait to like wear mini ears again it's been a while and then finally some i also got off etsy are these little rainbow ones how amazing are they but yeah you'll be able to see all of my ears and my outfits in my vlogs but for now, um, I got this little bag. How nice is this? I think I paid $1 for it from the Disney outlets uh, in Orlando. And that's just a good way for me to store my ears and keep them all together. Um, I think I'm going to put my ears in my little mini suitcase that I'm going to take on the plane with me. So I put things like ears, sunglasses, all my laptop and camera equipment and all that lot into my mini one because i don't want it getting like squished and rattled about and that um aside from my lounge fly i've taken in previous years uh, rucksacks in my opinion are the comfiest like crossbody bags are nice but i just feel like they start to do your shouldering after a while um rucksacks are best because i like to wear trainers and then I take my um, sliders as a backup in case it rains because there's nothing worse than soggy toes. Oh my God, and socks, uh, that feeling. Can anyone else literally not bear that? Like I'd rather go barefoot, I think. Um, but yeah, so I put sliders, my rain poncho and uh, my water bottle. So I just love a rucksack because otherwise you're just holding too many things. Usually though, if I wear a crossbody bag, I'll get Jason to take a rucksack so then I can fill his rucksack up while I just have a little cute bag. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that a couple of times. Um, but the mini bag I'm going to take this year, oh, just got well squashed already in the suitcase, is my little um, coach bag. And I, I just feel like this matches literally everything. Um, I would pr I would love a little white bag like this actually. I'm on the lookout for one. I don't know what one to get, but yeah, I feel like this coach one will match loads of stuff, and I really like this. It fit. It's very small, but it fits just enough in. So I think for like outlet days and stuff where I don't need all that other stuff I just said, then I'll be using this. Um, for pajamas, by the way, I didn't show them because I don't feel like anyone cares about pajamas. But I just wear literally stuff like this. I think I might wear this tomorrow to travel to the hotel in, um, because we're staying at Birmingham Airport tomorrow. But my pajamas just literally consist of oversized Disney tops and stuff like that. Um, I get most of them from Primark. But um, yeah, that's that. In case anyone's interested. Right, now, my favourite part, I'm going to show you what makeup and stuff like that I pack because I've been through a lot in Florida. This is my makeup. Everything in here is stuff I absolutely love and I think lasts in the weather. 
Um, so I'll go through this and I'll also go through like my toiletries. Snow Fairy Body Lotion. Love this. Put it on every night. I did want to take my Gar my fat Garnier um, Superfoods. Is that what it's called? But I forgot I had this. Oh, God, that smells so good. And I feel like that's just enough as well. I try and like pack a bit lighter with toiletries because they always proper weigh me down. I've also got a little hair oil that I'm going to just keep popping in my hair like every day. Just through the ends. Um, Hawaiian Tropic SPF 30. This is the nicest ever for your skin. It smells so amazing. And I just love a spray one. I think it's because I'm lazy, but I just love to spray it and go. Um, so yeah, I would recommend this. Also got some hair glitter because... On days when I'm not wearing ears at Disney, I like to do space buns and give it a little glitter spray. And actually, I've never had more compliments than when I do this. People are like, I love your hair. Uh, so yeah, that's always nice. I've got the usual like deodorant and toothpaste and that, which I doubt anyone cares about. I've got my vacation. You can only get this brand in America, by the way. I was really lucky that they sent me a box of goodies and I've fallen in love. So I'm going to actually order some off Ulta when I'm there. And get it delivered to like the concierge. I've got some earplugs for the plane. I've got some toothpicks. Floss sticks, whatever they're called. I've got like a razor, all that boring stuff. Toothbrush, all of that is in there. Now, I've also got some face masks. The Garnier Vitamin C one. Uh, this is quite new, but I've been using this. I really like this. I have to put a face mask on when I get off the plane. When I get to the hotel that night and I go to bed, I put one of these on. My skin gets so horrifically dry and my lips as well. Um, so, yeah, I also take a little lush lip jelly, which I'll show you in a minute. That is really nice. And, yeah, I use that the whole holiday. I've also this year decided I'm going to take Prada candy. It's a very sweet smell. I've not taken this to Orlando before. I feel like this is quite a wintry smell, but I'm just absolutely loving it at the moment. And I went like through all my perfumes and I thought, what do I actually want to smell like this year? Um, I love to get like a new fragrance for holidays. Um, but yeah, there's just none I want. And I've seen this on my shelf and I was like, yeah, that smells florida -y. It's very, very sweet, very candy-ish. It reminds me a little bit of Main Street. Um, so we're going to go with this one this year. I've also got, look at the state of this. This is how long I've had it. It's The reason it looks like this and it hasn't been used up is because I now use the Snow Fairy one. But this is the Lush Silky Underwear. Look at that, I've had this for so long. It might even be out of, out of date. I don't even say a date on there. If you fake tan on holiday like I do, I always slap this all over my fake tan once I've finished to... It stops it from being sticky and that in the bed sheets. Um, so yeah, I'll pop that all over fake tan. I also pop this under my boobs, under my armpits and in between my thighs to stop them from chafing. This feels so nice and it smells unbelievable as well. Just kind of stops like, any sweating. Um, and yeah, it just smells really nice. I just find this really nice. It's got a nice clean smell to like dust over once you've showered anyway. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I've switched to Lush Snow Fairy, but because this is nearly empty, I thought I might as well just take this, save a little bit of weight. Also got some dry eye drops for when my contact lenses start to shrivel up at the end of the day. Because I'm staying in a Little Mermaid room, I'm going to do like a Little Mermaid themed video. So I've got some of the Mad Beauty um, Little Mermaid stuff. So we've got some lip balms. How cool are those? I've also got some shell. I can't get my words out. What even is the time? I swear it's like nearly 10 o'clock. I'm tired. We've got some little shell hair clips. I've got clay mask trio. So I'll use one of those. And then some eye patches as well. So yeah, I'm going to do a little Little Mermaid themed like skincare sort of video in my little mermaid room it's going to be so cute i hope it turns out all right fingers crossed right makeup so i don't know if i even want to undo this so every single day for like the last five or six years i've been using the super drug 
um, SPF. This is SPF 50 and it's also 5 star UVA, UVB. I'm always protected with this. I swear I've never ever got burn on my face. I've got burn maybe along the top there. Maybe where I didn't push it up. Well, obviously where I didn't go up far enough. But this has never let me down and makeup goes on top of this so nicely. They also have an orange version of this. I wouldn't recommend the orange one. It leaves a bit of a white streak and it's a bit thicker. Uh, this one's made for sensitive skin and I just find this sits a lot nicer under makeup. So yeah, I use this every single day and that's all I use on my skin in the morning. Um, I do also use a little bit of eye cream, tell a lie. But yeah, I don't use anything else on my skin. Just this, no primer. Um, I'm not going to go, just thinking about it, I'm not going to go through all my makeup. I'll just pick out the bits that I think are help with like the Florida heat. Um, my absolute number one is the one size setting spray. I've already got two over there, but I swear there's about that much in each can. Um, I've been kind of saving them because this went out of stock on Sephora for ages. So I was kind of, you know, rationing them. This is the best setting spray ever. It stinks, like it literally gets into your nose and down your throat and like makes you want to choke. It smells not good. So make sure you take a deep breath, spray, walk away and then like take another breath. Like don't hold it that long. I don't want you to collapse. But um, yeah, don't breathe it in because it's very strong. But it, this is really good. It actually says it's waterproof. I don't know if it is. Um, I don't really wear makeup to the water parks because it's just an absolute faff. I've been outside like when it's raining and it doesn't seem to come off, but then I feel like the rain like spitting on your face wouldn't really affect it anyway. Um, but it's very good at being sweat proof. So yeah, I literally swear by this in the heat. So please do try this out because it's really good. This is the lip jelly I was going on about. I suffer with really dry lips and... I like the little Blistex lip thing in a white tube. That doesn't help, does it? But that's the only thing and this that I find helps my lips. And this just smells a lot better than the Blistex one. Um, so this always wins my vote. So yeah, I'm going to take this for me. So I've got my mini brushes from Spectrum. I think these actually might have been mermaid themed. Not like not little mermaid, but just mermaid. Um, I love them because they're minis. I've got a couple more in here. Like... A little eyeshadow brush and that. But they just save on space. Um, and Spectrum brushes are amazing. So I'd really recommend these. And then maybe I'll do a get ready with me when I'm in Florida. If anyone wants to see that, let me know. Like, if you're interested in what I use, let me know. Because I can film that. But I don't want to bore you by showing you every single makeup product. Because we'll be here all night. Um, so yeah, I can do another video for I will that. just quickly say though, I've been absolutely loving these eyelashes. The Ardell Naked Lashes. They've got such a thin band that they, they're really subtle as well. They're really easy to wear. They're not painful. They don't dig in. They're cheap. I think they're on offer in Superdrug at the moment. Um, they're easy to apply and they really do blend with natural lashes. So if you want like a little bit, you know... A little bit extra then I would recommend going with these um I did just get a lash lift well not get a lash lift I gave myself a lash lift so I feel like my lashes are pretty all right but if I want a little bit you know dramaticness then I'm gonna go for these Ooh, while we're still on the topic of makeup this is the last thing I'm gonna say who remembers the Mac Cinderella range is that that's focusing I got a Mac Cinderella lipstick it cost me 20 pounds I got it, I managed to get it online from like a third party, I don't, I can't even remember the website. I got it in free as a butterfly, look at this shade, do you know what, I'm not going to put it on, I'm going to save it until I'm outside the Cinderella castle and I'm going to put it on there. But how pretty is this, is this zooming in, it's like pearlescent. Oh, I want to put it on right now, but I won't. And I also got the new Fenty, what even are they called? Like the new Fenty lip creams. I got the bright red one to go with my mini ears. So yeah, um, I also, from Mad Beauty, got, I have used this a couple of times because, yeah, I didn't just get this. I got it like a month or so ago. The Raspberry and Honeydew Melon 
hand cleansing gel. This smells well nice. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Um, I wanted to take my Bath and Body Works one. I am going to take my Bath and Body Works one. This is all I've got left. Look at it. It's like desperate. Desperate times. I need to get in Bath and Body Works and top up again. Does anyone else love getting these? Um, yeah, I got this on my last December trip. It's nearly all gone. This smells amazing. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to top up on these. They smell so good. Um, but the Mad Beauty one smells very nice as well. And then that's about as far as I've got right now. So I've also, um, just to finish up, I've got my Magic Band. I got this in 2015, maybe. And I've not used it since. I've been using my Apple Watch the past few times, but... I'm thinking, should I just put this on for old time's sake? Jace hasn't got one of these and he hasn't got um, an Apple Watch either. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just make him wear this <laughs> and then I'll use my Apple Watch. Um, but yeah, I forgot where I even put this. And then when I moved in November, I found it again. So I'm going to put it in. I might use it. I might not. I feel like it would look weird to have this and an Apple Watch. Well, I guess it could work, but... Um, yeah, I found it anyway, so it's going in. I lied. Guys, I lied. That's not the end. Um, I forgot about my mini suitcase. So I've literally just got this little white suitcase. This has absolutely seen better days. I'm waiting for it to kind of really die, though, before I get a new one. Um, I've got my little mini neck pillow, which is cute. Um, I just tie that to the top of the little mini suitcase i also put my ghds in here as well because i don't like to put them in the big suitcase also i put in all of my hair clips and my jewelry so i've got all my different little earrings in there that will go with my dresses i've also got things like scrunchies hair clips just things that i really don't want um to get damaged so they all go in there uh i don't know if you want to see this but just all my little accessories and stuff they will all go in my mini suitcase and then i'm taking four pairs of sunglasses and my normal seeing glasses um i'm gonna take a black and white pair which i love i'm also gonna take my black ray bands oh, these are probably my favorite which i love also gonna take oh no they're my normal glasses no one cares about those i look guys in my last video i had brand new um clear frame glasses i don't know where i'll put them they're gone i'm gonna have to try and get some new ones what a pain in the ass i feel like i left them on the plane but then i think back and i was like how could that be because i needed them to drive home so I don't know, it's a mystery. Um, anyway, I've got my £2 Primark glasses, which I love. And then I've got my all-time faves. I feel like I've said these are all my faves. But I've had these since about 10 years. They just go with everything. My little tortoiseshell Ray-Bans. So yeah, we've got black, white, tortoiseshell and something else. I've forgotten. But, um, yeah, they'll do. I think for now, that is about it. Um, usually, I pack as well, um, you know, those little spray fans that you see people walk around the Disney parks in. I had one, and I lost it. Uh, well, I didn't lose it. I broke it, so I need to get a new one this year. These are absolute essentials, by the way. Like, you will be absolutely gagging for a little spray and a fan with one of those. I've looked at the weather as well. It's like 36 degrees, so I'm panicking a little bit. Especially at Epcot. That is like a hell of a park. It's so hot. Um, but it'll be fine. We'll get a spray fan and we'll be fine. Um, and also, I usually pack a my own mug to take to the park. Like, I don't fill it up at the park because I just buy stuff from Walmart and fill it up at home. But I just feel like it looks better in like a Disney mug. Um, but this time I'm going to buy their resort mug and just fill up at the resort and then just take that round. So I'm not packing one of those. Um, but yeah, I hope this has been helpful. I'm looking and this has been quite a long video. <laughs> about getting them packing cubes as well. Has anyone else got those? 
Like, I feel like they could help, but how much would they really help? Like, I'm still taking the same amount of stuff, but do they help? I don't know. I'm going to now try and cram all of this into my suitcase, weigh it, um, but that will all be for tomorrow's vlog, which is pre-travel day. Um, so, yeah, I hope this video has been helpful for anyone kind of, I don't know, just curious about what to pack. Um, let me know what you pack. Like, if you have any little things that I've missed off that you pack that you think are essential, please tell me. Um, because I love to know and, like, I love to try new things as well. Like, I've seen people pack, like, tea bags, Cadbury's chocolate, stuff like that, which, yeah, the chocolate in America is not very good. So, maybe I'll sneak a few little Cadbury's. Oh, and I forgot to say, I feel like I've said this so many times, like, oh, I forgot this, but... I've ordered, I saw a TikTok video um, where people say they don't take any toiletries. They order them all on Boots for collection at the at Boots after security. Like, that is the best hack I've ever heard in my whole life. So you could get, because for me, like, I usually take toiletries that are nearly at an end. So I kind of just throw them so I don't have to bring that weight back. But imagine being able to use up all your weight and then you just pick up that hefty bag of toiletries at um, Boots and then use it all there and then you don't have to bring it back. I feel like that's an amazing hack. Um, so I have actually ordered my... I've run out of cleansing balm and I use the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. So I just ordered that on Boots and I'm going to pick it up and also a mouthwash because I forgot to get that as well, which is annoying. Um, so yeah, I've ordered those to pick up at Boots after security. So fingers crossed it actually gets there on time. It said it was going to. And then I got a text today saying they've got a delay, which is so typical. Like, surprise, surprise. But hopefully it still makes it there. But yeah, as I was saying, thank you for watching my video. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to see this year's vlogs or this month's vlogs. I don't know when I'll be back next, but hopefully it'll be soon. Um, I'm so excited. This is going to be such a massive Disney holiday. We're doing so much, like, we've got so many good restaurants. Oh, what, my God, I could scream. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please do let me know, like, what you pack as well. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.